All right, welcome back to uh, Vicky Three. This is We Play Games. I'm, this is I'm gonna call this a tool assistant speed run. That's what we're doing, really. I I promise you that you can do this without without using debug because I've done it myself. I've literally done it myself, and you can do it too by just following this guide. Here it is. It's 1841. We have tick going on honorable restoration. So now all we need to do is we just need to be careful. That's really all we need to do. Um, I don't really care about passing laws right now, so I am going to increase taxes. And the reason that that's going to be good, because I'm going to actually, this is the time when we're going to do high tax, high wage. High tax, high wage is a, another strategy for just like moving um, resources around, which is the, oh no, oh no, the petit bourgeoisie guy retired. Well, that's sad, but he's, you know, his, his successor is fine. It means that we're missing out on loan interest rate. Right? That's not that's not a big deal, uh, but that is sad. Uh, our, uh, so we are playing as the Emperor Kome, and we are trying to, uh, in alignment with this very interesting and successful cabal of people who all hate the Shogun, we have successfully maneuvered ourselves into the point where we are on on track for an 1851 restoration. But I think we're going to be able to do a little bit more than that. I think we're going to mostly just play out the life of of Kome, but in a way which I guarantee you that you can follow without cheating. It, it I I promise. It, I promise. Also, we've ended serfdom. Once you end serfdom as a uh, as a speedrunner, then you just remove peasants. From the perspective of the cabal, just remember that like this guy is the most powerful an influential public speaker in Japan right now. He is the the face of your campaign to remove the shogunate. As long as he stays alive, you're fine. If he dies, I'm probably going to reroll or do or just like I'll probably just remove the Buddhist monk leader until I get somebody I like, honestly. But you can do the same thing with with saves coming. I just I'm just going to use console cuz it's faster. All right, what are we doing? We're we actually probably should build some stuff. So let's build some stuff. Let's go in here. I don't care about this. Those are that's my pops problem. Um, we could build some more coal. Yeah, we could build some more coal. Build a little bit of coal and a little bit of glass, and that would require that we move our road maintenance to Kyushu. So we'll build a little bit of glass and a little bit of coal, and just like two or three of each. It doesn't matter. It's it's fine. It's fine. I we have inflated our costs here for no reason. I added I added colonialism as a a way to make sure that everyone who is playing the game um, can follow along with the guide. But it is it is definitely worse. It is if you're it is it is absolutely I guarantee you absolutely worse to go for colon, uh, colonialism if you are speed running. If if you're if your campaign is really good. And I'm going to say that in almost every single episode, just so you know. I'll probably stop after this one. I, I probably said that last time. <laughs> just like, I just, I, I don't remember these things. It's not important. I don't need to keep track of it because my brain is mush. Um, oh, so an, uh, somebody died, unfortunately. And that means that if a, a general dies or something like that, because the petit bourgeoisie was the leader. Yeah, that's right. He was the leader. We, we need to keep making sure that people do not go over to the shogunate. Uh, the Shogunate has minus five. That's fine. We can hire him and then fire him. Uh, retire. Well, that's extremely rude, but we can find a way around it. Um, just, 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 why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Because even if they patch that so that like there's some sort of cooldown, it doesn't matter. I I'm not I'm doing it because you can reroll. That's why I'm doing it. Um, and you can you can do the same thing by just save scumming. Uh, I just I'm just doing it a different way. Because this way's faster. It is faster. And now the petit bourgeoisie are gonna get pretty strong. Petit bourgeoisie are actually not a bad. Uh, and IG to be bolstering as well. Oh, oh my God. We need to keep you as weak as humanly possible. We need to keep you weak. We need to make you weak and stupid. Weak and stupid, Shogunate. Um, our 
Our budget is looking a little spooky just because there are a lot of recurring costs. What can we do to fix that? The, all of the wood is the wood is covered. Why why are we spending so much? Government wages. All oh, right, because we're doing high tax high wage, and we, well, high tax high wage is dangerous to be addicted to. Do not do not become addicted to water chat, lest uh, do do because lest you grow to to um whatever the quote is. It's a great quote. You should watch Mad Max Fury Road. That's the other thing I want to tell you. You should watch Mad Max Fury Road. It's pretty good. You absolutely do not want to do um low government wages. By the way, like high tax high wage. It might be necessary in order to get serfdom through. Uh, you, you can kind of make that call on your own. But don't ever go to low government wages, especially when you're in conflict with a, a powerful uh, law-supported shogunate. It's awful. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. It's very bad for you. It is extremely bad for you. Um, on that note, is there anything else we can do to remove power from them? If we built enough bureaucracy, we could go into religious schools, but we would need to build bureaucrats, and that's pretty terrible. Oh, god damn it, Walker! You idiot! You're supposed to go to Central Archives next. So, so if you're playing, if you're playing at home, if you're playing at home, um, and you're doing a speed run, you do, you just go Academia, and then if you don't have currency standards from uh, Drift, you probably want to get currency standards from Drift so that way it reduces the cost of this because of the way the the cost structures are worked. But like you, you want to go academia into central archives. That's your tech path, if you're if you're speed running. Um, because it's central archives is is. It's a really it's a really strong it's a really strong it is a really strong central archives is a really strong, because it lets you it lets you run standardized filing systems, which gives you enough bureaucracy to run uh, religious schools on its own. But it also lets you take and demolish some of your uh, your government administrations, which are not good, by the way. Um, in case you missed that in the other one, the the universities are better. And Ultra Hill is a thousand percent right. You just build them in Kansai. You can you can, for a campaign, you might want to start building some stuff in in Kanto. That would be okay too. But if you're speed running it, if you're doing a campaign, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's always it's always 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 better to just do it in, in Kansai. Um, when you're building these initial initial university runs, they're just they're they are outrageously outrageously better um, in terms of their usefulness. Because look, the shogunate's at at fifteen point six percent. We're gonna. We're, I promise that I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cheat with the tool. I'm not gonna give myself money back, even though I'm stupid and I should have built here first. Uh, always get this like ten stack a log here it's gonna it's gonna save you so i said hundreds of thousands but i'm wrong it's gonna save you millions um to do that 10 stack so the build order is five construction sectors five logging camps five construction sectors five logging camps and then just straight 10 logging camps don't build any construction sectors here because the reason that you would want to build them there is if you're using them for the construction efficiency and you're never coming back to, to hoku or you're not going to come back for a long time. But you want to build those 10 logging camps. And trust me, trust me, you want to build those 10 logging camps. And then you want to come down to Kanto, and you're moving your road maintenance around. And all of this stuff, I, I'm telling you, there's a way to do it in a fashion that that tickles you narratively. But the way that tickles it narratively for me is that Emperor Komei is just like a 25 stewardship character. And this is fun to him. And if this is fun to you, then you you'll really enjoy this episode, because um, it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of talking about like just build orders and stuff and like the implications therein, and trying to keep myself also focused, because I don't I don't want to record this again when the Shogun just comes back out of nowhere. I want this to be an 1851 run and done, and 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 that's actually gonna be it. And maybe maybe we'll complete the journal entries. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do 51 and then we'll do journal entries because I'll show you that also getting the journal entries is not going to be too difficult with this path because um, the Buddhist monks, once your friend dies, because he will, he will die um, or he'll retire, either one. In in 1.0.3, in, it's, it's in fact the same. <laughs> when you retire in 1.0.3, you die. That's, you die in the game, you die in real life. It's just, it's the way it goes. Uh, we could build some more paper. 
Well, yeah, let's build some paper, actually. It's going to reduce the cost of our... Uh, it's going to re reduce the cost on our universities and stuff. And it's going to it's gonna set us up for Central Archives. Because we're going to have that. Um, and that's it's going to be good. And we've also built some more glass. So we can switch that over to Market Squares. And let's see where else. Where else are we doing this? Um... How much glass do we currently have? We have minus 34 glass. All right, we're gonna need to get some more glass, actually. That's the other thing. Is this fully Is this fully employed? It is fully employed. Do I actually care about? I don't care about that. And am I using glass for anything yet? I am using glass. I'm using it for the for services. All right. Yeah. You know what? Um, Kyushu, you're not. Don't make any of those stupid luxury things. They're dumb. Don't make don't make luxury things, Kyushu. It's not worth it. You're you, Kyushu, upon you I shall build my church, and the church shall be the church of services and sin. We're also gonna keep state run churches on um because it's it's uh it's flavorful, right? It's flavorful. It's flavorful. Post in the chat if you think it's it's flavorful, because I think it is. Insufficient taxation cap capacity. We've talked about this. Not important. Absolutely not important. And if you would like me to answer the question, I'm happy to do so. The leader of the intelligentsia has retired. And as as mentioned, when you retire, when you retire in the game, you die in real life. And that's true. And that's true. And now we have this dude. All right. Well, we're just gonna have a weaker than than we would normally have intelligentsia because he's stupid. That's that's what this says right here, but that's okay. Because we're making progress. We are making progress. I'm not thrilled with the fact that I like completely flubbed the amount of debt we were supposed to pick up. I'll just take banking first. I'll take banking first because that's going to get us some more money and it's going to get us some more interest rate de deduction, and, and that's going to be important. I might even want to get uh, treasury bonds back. How can I make the petit bourgeoisie happy? Hereditary bureaucrats would be gone. That would be actually really good. Maybe that's worth doing. Because if we can get rid of hereditary bureaucrats, then, like, they they really are... The, the Shogun absolutely would never come back if we could get rid of hereditary bureaucrats. They just never... They never would come back. Um, he says, and then, and, then, and then in, like, 12 episodes it happens, and then I go, ah! Dedicated police force might also be worth doing, and that only requires either peasants or samurai... We could do that. Let's let's have the what happens if the Buddhist monks bring the peasants back in. They go to twenty three percent. That's fine. We can do that. And dedicated police force is going to give us some rolls. Twelve point eight percent. That's that's okay. We can do a twelve point eight percent roll. I'm not going to cheat on that one, because that one that one feels more like it's just going to be useful to have rather than critical. And I'm not going to cheat on the things that are useful. Like, I'm not going to cheat on any of these things. You just need to get a really early serfdom roll. That's all you need. And if you get a really early serfdom roll, then you can get a really early restoration. And you can get a really early serfdom roll without cheating um, pretty easily. If you just watch my YouTube channel and you follow my guides, and and again, and I cannot stress this enough, and play better than me. Like, that's the that's the other thing. You do need to play better than me. Um, but as soon as you can do that, because I don't play very well. I, it's just the way it is. Low government legitimacy, that's okay. Um, I, the low market access is less okay, but we are trying to do colonialism. We're trying to do colonialism. It is it is actually pretty helpful to have full control of Hokkaido during a, a campaign, though. Um, it's it's got a lot of resources. That's it. It does. It has a lot of resources, and and people who don't understand that in a campaign are just are just as confused. They're just as confused as the people who don't understand why it's not useful in a in a speed run. Um, but Jingoist is always good. That's always good. What else are we What else are we looking at? So the reason I like services and sin so much right now is that it's just really easy to do. Like we're at nine thousand on services right now. That's fine. That's totally fine. We could just can we can we go to consumption taxes if we stop doing bolster bolster 
Is that is that insane? Am I insane? I kind of feel like I'm insane, but I think it's probably worth it because I just want to get. I just I just don't want to have that much debt. I don't want to have that much debt, and that might be that might be me being stupid, but I just don't want to have that much debt. Um, what was I doing? I was gonna remove the the supports. I'm gonna remove the supports, and I'm just gonna see how far we go when we're just taxing grain. Um, again, there are political implications to doing this. They do exist. The political implications of, of who you tax and how much are actually really important. Um, cause that's, that depend, that determines uh, how much things are going to end up costing to the pops who have to buy stuff. And so if they have to buy stuff that's really expensive, that's sort of an indirect penalty to them. 14.9%, 14.9%. I, I'm feeling really good about this now, chat. I'm feeling really good about this now. Cause I, I mean, I just, I'm, I want people to understand that. I'm going to get into arguments with people in the thread and it's not because I don't respect them. It's because I'm going to feel like they don't respect the amount of thought that I've put into this. And that's not a them problem. That's a me problem. That's a chip on my shoulder problem. And I hope people that, that care about this content think that it's good, that it's fine, but I'm, I'm going to get into arguments with people and I'm going to look like I'm crazy, but I, I am going to demand that people show me video proof because I'm showing you video proof. And, and I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to call the episode here today. Um, I think that's okay. I think that's fine. We're making, it's 1843 and we're ticking down on the honorable restoration. We've got the Shogun bouncing around at 16%. We're keeping an eye on it. I might need to, um, to switch back into a different tax law just so that way we can keep working on defeating the Shogunate. But I know I'm not 100% sure if it's necessary. I, I'm trying to stay a lot more um, a lot more invested than I was in the, the first film that I did. Because the first one, the first shot that I did, was mostly just a, a, a more detailed proof of concept. Whereas this, is, this really is a tutorial. Uh, but I will, I will pause the episode here and then we will uh, just keep filming. I'm just having a lot of fun. And I, I, I hope that you're having a lot of fun too here on the We Play Games channel. Because... Because I love all the content that I make, and and I I want to find people who love it in the form that it is currently in. Because, like, I'm just I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna record so much stuff, and people are gonna be like, Walker, you can't just keep scrolling in and out. Like, people, this the viewer is gonna have a terrible, terrible life experience, and maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. It's I think. Though it's if you've met me in real life, I gesticulate a lot, and it's because I I think that motion is also part of communication, and and um and this I this I just I just think that people I think people will accept that that's true after a certain point that this motion when I'm like trying to indicate stuff it might not necessarily communicate something but it'll communicate that it's important and that's that's what's important. And this episode ended like five minutes ago. I hope that I didn't accidentally stop recording. Uh, nope, 18 minutes. All right, we're good.